Here are Lizzie Wollen after another Derby Day success for Longford Town against their arch rivals Athlone and with the boss Dara Doyle 4-0 win for the town tonight. It was tight at times but Longford they just blew Athlone away in that second half. A couple of brilliant moments from Dean Byrne, some good impact subs again tonight. McNally, Chambers all playing a role, Matthew O'Brien good off the bench as well. Overall, good night at the office. No, listen, we're really happy when we come here to, to Athlone in a, in a big Derby game because that's what it was. They're a team who've been in form over the last couple of, couple of games. They've got two wins, they're a good side, they've got some really good players, we knew that coming into the game, so I'm really happy with a 4-0 win. Three different goal scorers, one was an own goal, um, impact from players off the sub, and a clean sheet. So it was, it was a really enjoyable night, I suppose. And I know we spoke about it in previous uh, interviews and after previous games, that maybe Longford hadn't put a 90-minute performance tonight uh, together so far this season. Tonight, was that the closest uh, to it so far? Well, I personally thought the first half was quite even, and we we gone in a goal up, and I, I think it, I wouldn't have been bad if I had it been nil all because I thought it was I thought it looked quite good in patches mm. in the first half. We had the crossbar in the first half too. Yeah, from a, from a header, we know I know we had a couple of chances ourselves, and we did look dangerous at times on the break. But um, no, even in the first half, I thought overall. But you mentioned already we did end up blowing them away with I suppose the overall intensity and the one or two decisions that did go away in the game. Mm. And uh, another goal for for Verdon and Manly, so they're six apiece now. There's a good little battle going on between them, but uh, just on Rob Manley, you seem to have finally found a way to get the best out of him. He was getting the ball with his back to goal a lot earlier on the season, but now this is uh, I think his third or fourth goal in maybe five or six games. Yeah, it's his fifth, his fifth goal in, in the last six games. Yeah, he's, he's he's a number of assists in the last six games as well. So no, it was one of those we possibly weren't getting the best out of, but it was something that we had to look at and, and see how can we be better like he's such a big player and he causes him so many problems we, we had to find the best system to get the best out of Rob Manley and we did tweak things a bit to get players closer to him to have wider players higher up the pitch to get more balls in and they're all things that he tries off having players closer to him having crosses coming into the box and people around him so listen he's been great he's been great for us since he came in since day one and he was a player we fought for to get to this club and he's really having an impact and coming into the business end of the season big players go good and he's one of those and a clean sheet tonight as well that'll do the, the confidence the world good no no we, we said that I know um, we defended a number of corners in the second half really well where we won headers we cleared our lines they did have the one chance in the first half but I think other than that they, they haven't really trolled us um, so listen we move on, it's another massive game now next week. We have Galway who I think they were called pegged them back to yeah. so they're quite I think they're probably ever on twenty points now next week. So they'll come into the game feeling that they have to win next week to have any chance of getting into the playoffs possibly. So it's a huge game. Other results possibly might have went their way tonight mm. from what I've seen, but um we can only look after ourselves. Gone was a huge game. The great thing we have now for the next four weeks is that it's one game per week. Like we've we've had a period I suppose since we've come back for COVID, or I think we've played something like 13 or 14 games in 50 something days. It's been a Premier Division schedule it's, and more at times. It, it has, and for players who possibly are doing a bit more than some of the players in the Premier who, like you say, are full time, mm. we, we have some players that have a number of things going on, and it's a credit to them. And I suppose with the First Division, that probably does explain some of the mad results we've seen since things have come back. and. It's really still close there, it really is, so um, if, if we look after ourselves, put in the performances and get the results that we can, we'll see where that takes us and at the minute we don't know where it is, but we, we need to look to pick up points every single game, win games and where we finish then at the end of the season with that, we'll see them, but we, we do everything we can to, to win every game at the end of the season. And not only do you have the benefit of it now reverting to one game a week, you also for the first time tonight in a long time had the opportunity to take off a number of players who've played a lot of minutes this season. That's the first time I can remember Rob Manley getting a break in a very, very long time, so you must have been delighted to get the job done, get him resting, get some of the younger players a few minutes as well. Yeah, because we've got some really exciting young players. You look at Matthew O'Brien, Aaron McCabe, Callum Warfield, they're going to be big players for this club. And um, listen, delighted to get them more minutes and more experience and this isn't part of a winning team there tonight, so that was great and, and a reason to get them onto the pitch and, and they deserve it for the work and the effort and the commitment that they, they've put in since being with this group. A final question, uh, it's great to see an away crowd at a League of Ireland game again. They travelled in big numbers from, from Longford tonight, don't know how they managed to get the tickets but they yeah. got here, they got behind the team and great at the end to see all the players and yourself going over, it was just uh, reminiscent, it brought us back to before all this started, you know, but 
Uh, hopefully again they'll be able to get to another away game at some stage this season but great to have the fans there backing you tonight. Yeah listen we were, we were delighted to see them. I, I heard from a little birdie that people managed to get tickets whether it was <laughs> on, online I know with, with the number of season tickets there they went on general sale yeah. and I know from what I see it online, a number of people that were very happy to get their hands <laughs> on tickets and listen, it was brilliant to see so many there today, it really was and um, we're delighted, we hope that they continue to support us, I know obviously it's a huge game at home next week and we're hopeful that they'll all be back there to support us and encourage us to, to continue on this journey together. Another win in the Classical, well done, thanks very much. Thanks very much, Lance.